What is going on guys? I am back at it again today. As you can see, there's still no boat in the garage. It is still at the shop. Still getting the uh, gel coat repaired on the uh, the bow there where the trolley motor was. I haven't got any updates on it. I'm uh, hoping that it doesn't go too much over what he originally quoted me on it, but I did have him try to look because the, the console was getting some oxidation on it and some fading on it. So I asked him to kind of clean it up a little bit too. But uh, uh, unfortunately, some of the plans I had for doing things to the boat this fall ain't gonna happen. I mean, it's just the way it is. So it's gonna have to wait till spring. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the things I am gonna do is uh, I'm gonna have to get another trolling motor bracket because this one is broke right here. I did not know it was broke till I took it back off. Uh, you probably guys can't see it, but it's, this aluminum piece here is broken and I cannot find anywhere where you can just buy this piece. So I have found another bracket online, a used one that I'm gonna get. And then uh, I gotta replace this, uh, this breakaway bra or, uh, mount here because some of the tabs on the back of it got broken. Uh, you know, lessons learned, strap your stinking trolley motors down. Or what I am also going to do is get one of those TH Marine, uh, um, I can't remember what it's called right off the top of my head, but it locks your trolley motor to the deck. That way, if you forget to strap it, you don't have to worry about it because it's locked to the deck. So we are going to do that. Um, but for now, I'm not going to upgrade the trolling motor. I'm just going to keep that one for the rest of the, the year throughout the fall. And then maybe next spring, I'll upgrade it to one with a, uh, a anchor motor spoiler. I am still gonna try to get the forward facing sonar if everything works out. Um, I'm still gonna think I'm gonna go with the active target with Lawrence just because I'm a Lawrence guy. I like the way the units operate. They're easy to operate. Uh, but from everything I've read, the picture quality on the Lawrence units is pretty good. It's, I know Garmin just come out with a LiveScope Plus and it's been updated and all that good stuff, but you know what? I stick with what I like and I stick with what I know. So, hey, I know people are gonna beat me up. So, oh, you should have. Well, you know what? You do you, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna try to go do some bank fishing today before I have to go pick Nicholas back up for school and take him to football practice this evening. So, stick with me, stay tuned. When the camera comes back on, hopefully we can catch some fish. We are here. We're gonna try the old uh, industrial park pond out first. Apparently I got about two hours before, uh, gotta pick the young up from school. Gotta put the bug spray on. As uh, old uh, Rob Tarkala would say, don't want no uh, bugs in your nether regions. Cause it ain't fun. So I do have my little popping frog on right here. We'll see how this goes. Not sure how many fish will be up here on this shallow end. There was something swirled there when I threw it down there. There was, there was. But, gotta make your frog pee. Gotta make your frog pee. See, there's something swirling right over there. Every time I throw that, but it's right up on the bank. Probably bluegill or something. Of course, if this doesn't work, I've always got a wacky rig. And I might just go ahead and throw it right now, just for poops and giggles. 
just for poops and giggles. I do have this weighted, which probably is not a good idea with all this grass. So, probably. Oop. Probably need to take that off, yeah. <sighs> All right. We have got this. Let me uh, silence this phone. silence this phone all right i took the weight off this is that a freaking snake or a turtle what the hell is that and of course i've got the old june bug danger He is a little overcast. The wind's blowing towards me, so. Oh, got some grass. Oh. Of course, I always pick the uh, worst parts of the day to go fishing. What the hell's on my foot? I wait till it's like way too hot and the sun's too high. Oh, 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 I spoke too soon. Come on, come on, come to daddy. Come to daddy, little, oh, it came off. No. Are you serious? What the hell is that? What is that? How does he pull the worm out of the freaking band? <sighs> what the heck? Are you serious? Well, that fish just stole my freaking uh, dinger. And uh, just as my luck would have it, I didn't bring him more than what was in a bag. So I've only got two left. There was a fish just popped over there in that grass or i'm sorry in that uh stuff over there that felt like a decent fish of course i'm sure he was kind of caught up in the grass but he got right here and pulled the freaking i tried to let him eat that too pulled it right out of the freaking band never had that happen before we didn't even get to see that fish oh <sighs> I swear, I've got the craziest freaking look. picture there of that. Wow. Wow. What was it Alex Rudd said the other day? That's a uh, TDC fish. Well, almost. 
top dead center. Can you guys see that? Look at the color on that fish. It's crazy. Beautiful. Look how dark he is where he's been in that grass. It's crazy. Crazy. Swim jig. The old swim jig in the grass. Heck yeah. It's not much to look at, but uh, look at the color on that guy. Good summertime bass. I don't think he's ever been caught before either. Beautiful, beautiful fish. First fish I've caught in like two weeks, or probably three weeks, four weeks. Awesome. Awesome. Just gonna say, I'm lucky that fish stayed on because apparently my drag was not set. I say the draggy drag was not set. Shoo wee. See if there's another one up there. Uh, I moved down here to this end. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, it looks good, but I really can't get down to the dang bank. So, anyway, we're going to try it and see what happens. Giant bluegill will just come up right there. Oh, I just got bumped right there. Oh, there's one right there, right off the bat. Stay on, little guy. Little guy. Oh, get out of that grass. Get out of that grass. I say, get out of that grass. Ooh. Just about let you eat that too long, didn't I? So you just about ate that too long. Little tiny guy. Look how fat that little sucker is, though. Look how fat he is. See that? move over to this corner you know used to when i came over here they kept this all beat down and stuff to where you could really fish it real good somebody's been catching fish there's uh, all kinds of grass right down there but anywho let's give this a twirl over here and we'll go to this side of the spillway first fish right there see a couple of bluegill oh. I'm gonna switch colors real quick and see what happens got is these little guys so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna still wacky rig this but you know what I'm gonna do so that it'll still keep its action I'm gonna trim this band down and what I mean by that is Cause on these smaller worms with that wide band, it's really gonna inhibit the action. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna split this band in half. 
like so like that and then we uh, let's see here we'll use this one use this one and that way it will still have you know that action so let's see what this does see if they'll eat this one shoe i'm sweating my sack completely off shoot god oh why is it gonna be so dang hot out here And this smaller worm should fall just a little bit slower. So maybe it won't get caught up in the grass so bad. I'm hoping. Shoot, God, I got sweat running in my eyes and my crack. Shoot. It's awful. Falafel. And I'm about to run out of time. I only got about a half hour left. Or I got to get out of here because I still gotta stop and get gas. All right, I'm gonna try one more trick and then we're gonna get out of here. One more thing. One, oh, one more dang thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna try one more thing before I cut out of here. So what I'm doing is, I don't know if any of you guys ever watch, uh, what's his name, like Gene, the fishing machine, or whatever the old guy's name is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and the only reason I'm using a five out hook on this today is just for a little bit of extra weight because I'm gonna <clears throat> rig this weightless so all I'm gonna do is, and I'm just gonna tie a polymer knot because it's not really all that indicative of how you Texas rig a worm. I mean, I'm not flipping or anything like that, so. Ow, damn it. The Kamigatsu hooks are very, very sharp. Get my loop over the bend of it here. Come on now, struggle busting. But anyway, we'll wet it. All right, we'll trim the tag off. Oop. I'm gonna start with the June bug one first just because I ate that. I'll close this stuff up. But what I'm gonna do is, one of the things he does in ponds or lakes, it's got a lot of grass in it. He takes a trick worm, just a standard little trick worm. Lay that guy out there. And then you're gonna split the tail right down the middle. Up just past, eh, probably an inch and a half or so. Just past that bulbous part of that tail. And maybe a little bit more than that. If you want to try to get it as center as you can when you do this. Okay, like that. And then you just take this rig it like you normally would. And I like to go in about an eighth to a quarter inch on the worm. So I can get that kind of up past the the knot. Get that on there. Take expose it. We're gonna put a little scenty scent on it. Get that worked in there real good. Now I'm gonna try if I can show you guys how this is working or why this sometimes works. 
you'll see that when this worm, maybe, I don't know, I'm probably too far away from the water to see it. But what happens is, is this worm floats down the water that where you split that tail, it just kind of slowly kicks. It's something that the fish don't see a lot. Let's see how. But why, this is just all he does. He, he just lets it fall. I might not have split that tail enough. But I think I did though, it's pretty. But anyway, that's all he does. And then he'll just throw it out there, let it fall. <clears throat> then just kinda, oh, I think I've already got fish on. Oh my God, are you freaking serious? Oh my God. That was freaking nuts. That was freaking nuts. Oh my God. Oh, did he eat it? Did he eat it? Can't tell. Did he eat it? Yeah. Yep. Ha 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 I told you that guy would work, guys. I told you. <sighs> I told you it would work. Boy, he really. Ooh, and I ain't got no pliers. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <clears throat> all right, he might be all right. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm talking about. They will catch fish that way. So Mr. Gene does know what he's doing. Just another tip for you guys. Thank you, buddy. I'll try to catch one more before I get out of here and got to go. I see another fish moving right up there, right on the edge of that grass on the bank. Oh, already getting another bite. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Oh, freaking missed him. Oh, freaking missed him. I think that was a probably a bluegill or something. Really want to catch one more for you guys before I got to get out of here. picking up now. Sucks. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. No, oh, no. No. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, I pulled my pants down. You stupid. Mm, dang it. Tried to let him eat it. I tried. I tried. Come on. Come back for it. Come back for it. Come back for it. Oh, right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, are you kidding me? How is he not eating it? 
Golly, dude, that's a good fish, whatever that is. That is a good freaking fish, dude. I'm telling you. That is a good fish right there. Golly, he pulled that so freaking hard. About jerks the dang right out of your hand. But why is he not getting it in his mouth? Come on, come on, come back, come back. Come on, gotta be freaking kidding me. I was trying to get one more for you guys, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh. Oh my goodness. Don't know if he's got it or not. He's got it. He's got it. Oh my goodness. That's a good one, guys. Oh, oh that's a good one. Come on, come on, stay in there, stay in there. Oh, I may have to get way to get this out. Uh, uh, it felt like a good one. Where's it at? Uh, it's just a baby. Oh, it's all that grass, so. <laughs> but I promise you guys, uh, there is a fish in there. I promise you guys, there is a fish in there. Wow. I'm telling you guys, the things that you pick up, he's just a little one. I guess all that grass made you feel like you ate. Oh my God, look what you just done to me. Quit, quit, quit. Look at that, perfect. Right in the side of the mouth. Uh, well, he felt like he weighed five pounds, but all that grass, shoo wee. All right, guys, I got to get this guy back in order. He absolutely covered me with slop. Wow. I swear that fish felt like it weighed five pounds when it hit. But anyway, guys. Whoo! Guys, what'd you think about that? I actually caught some fish today. I'll give you some tips, and they actually kind of worked. <laughs> I sometimes shock myself. Uh, you know, summertime's always hard, and any time that you can find kind of that water, you can find cover, uh, it, it makes it a little bit easier to locate those fish, especially when you're pond fishing, you're fishing from the bank, you know. Try to get to the deepest end of the lake. Uh, that's just something I picked up, say, through watching videos like tactical basting and stuff. And uh, then the little tips, just like the splitting the worm. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of information and tips out there to help you guys catch fish, you know. So I urge you to get online, go check these videos out and this content, you know, to help improve yourself being an angler, a better angler, and uh, make this more enjoyable for yourself. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Go follow me on Instagram and Fish Brain and Facebook page. Uh, those, I sometimes, I put all my fishing content on there. I also put other little goofy things on there. And I'm also on TikTok now. But I also kind of share some of my personal life, say on Instagram and my Facebook page, if any of you guys are interested in that. But anyway, we are at 460 something odd subscribers on YouTube. Like I said, I want to get 500 before I get to the end of the year. That way I can give something back to you guys, whether it be a rod, a reel, maybe a fishing trip with somebody here out of the state. 
uh, anything like that. I just want to say thank you and give back to you guys. So if you would, again, please go hit those like and subscribe buttons, share the videos with your family and friends. Until next time, guys, until I see you again, keep casting, and I'll see you in the next one.